Now, if you've never ridden 106 when they have it closed off because of cold weather, snow, and ice, it's quite an adventure, and Jose and I decided we were going to take a jaunt down there. Not, not great traction, that's for sure. And he had his BMW GS 1200, and I had my Ninja, and we went right through the barricades, and I recorded what it's like from one end to the other. It was good and slippery. There were wet and icy spots, and we did not get special permission. I'm lying. <laughs> The first thing you know is there's going to be no oncoming traffic. You almost could use both lanes of the road. We didn't. We were trying to stay in the lane most of the time. But there were some serious wet spots, icy spots, and it was freezing cold this day. I do remember how cold it was. And I remember looking down to try to see if I was looking at wet or ice or water or both. And maybe we were right at, on the cusp of it. But And because Jose was leading, well, I got to shoot some video that is a lot of fun to watch. It seemed like both of the bikes, even though the uh, Jose's bike, the BMW, was a little bit heavier, it, it seemed like they both were uh, pretty comfortable handling these conditions. But but you can't really see it when you go when you're looking at a video. You can't feel the cold air hitting you in the face and in the arms. And that always that thought that every spot there that's darker than the road around it is either going to be water or ice or both. Now, believe me, we did not get special permission to do this. And I wouldn't suggest anybody try it unless you're uh, the adventurous type that likes to jump off buildings with a parachute or something. But it was it was really nice. This is one of my favorite roads, of course, but I, I would prefer a nice warm summer day when the road is dry and you have a little bit better traction, but it still was fun. You'll see when we get through the barriers at the other end of 106, there was a car there, and I was just thinking from far away, it, it kind of looked like law enforcement, and I was wondering, mm, how do they know we're in there? But And of course, if you have an accident here, you're in big trouble. They, they probably will on purpose not come to get you. But again, sometimes you have to just do these things once. It's like hang gliding in Brazil. It's a thrill. the end of this ride we went right to the orange top diner and had the hottest cup of coffee you could ever imagine <laughs> and boy the coffee tasted really good i wish there was a way you could see this um you could feel the cold air blowing in your face when you when you're uh, watching a video but if you're home or watching it on a phone or whatever you, you're only getting half of the experience this this was a memorable day to share
And it was right about here. I was thinking, we only have a couple more turns to go, and we're going to be seeing the end of this, and there's going to be barricades at the other end of the road. And and how funny is it going to be if the uh, the state police are there with machine guns and tanks and everything? But, well, it it didn't exactly turn out that way. But, but of all the rides we went on this winter, and we rode right through the whole winter, just as if the cold wasn't there. I know Jose will never forget this ride. I never forgot it, and now we can share it with you. And for all my friends that ride through the winter through cold weather and crappy roads and ripen salt off the bike and whatever, I know the people that live in a warm weather climate or Ray down there in, in Florida is laughing. Ray, you're not missing a thing. This was a memorable day though. One of the days, as I look back at it, and, and of course I don't recommend anybody do this, we just had to do it because it was fun. And, and Jose has a mischievous side, as we all know. Well, maybe we all have a mischievous side. Or you wouldn't be riding motorcycles. You'd be playing golf or something. Anyway, we do try to share our passion for motorcycling. And, and sometimes that gets a little off the rails or carried away. But in the end, we're all trying to do the same thing. And uh, basically, just enjoy and share the passion we have for motorcycling. And thanks so much for watching.